Hello and welcome back, I hope you are well. In today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about one of my inspirations for arts and that is part of my art book collection, specifically my Final Fantasy fourteen art books. I have a few different art books that I have as in different categories one would be concept art for things like movies, video games, and so on. And then the other is art books released by artists. And today it's going to be the first category. So these are concept art books for the video game Final Fantasy XIV. And I'm also going to be showing something from inside this sketchbook, which will be relevant to today's video, and I'll show that later. My camera is a little bit more zoomed out than normal today because these books are massive. They are massive. They are larger than A4 and they are incredibly thick as well. And they are absolutely chock full of concept art and designs and ideations for all sorts of different subjects which is one reason why I really really love these art books in particular. It covers d dungeon design, environment design, character design, costume design, uh, even furniture, buildings, equipment, all sorts, pretty much you name, <laughs> you name it, it, there's a section in this book with concept art for it inside and I have three of these as far as I'm aware every expansion of the game they release two art books one for the initial release of that expansion and then another one that covers the bridge content which is slowly released in patches over the course of about two years for each expansion I have the two art books for Stormblood, and this one is Art of the Revolution Western Memories. I also have this one for Stormblood, which has one of the main characters of the story, and this is Art of the Revolution Eastern Memories. And then I have the first of the two books for Shadowbringers. And this one is a metallic cover, so it's going to probably reflect some of my light. But we have The Art of Reflection, Histories Forsaken. And I love, love, love the, the style of some of the more finished illustrations for Final Fantasy. Absolutely just gorgeous. I love a lot of the rougher, more sketchy design phase things as well and you'll get the whole spectrum in these art books which is again something I really really love about these. I These make me so happy, they bring me so much creative joy which is one of the reasons why I'm showing these to you first out of all my art books and let's choose one of them. So, another really, really cute thing about these art books is that all the way at the back of the book, there is a little section written by the art team, messages from the art team, and different artists and designers have little, little paragraphs for each of them. And those can be really just lovely to read. Um, they all have different things to say in each of the books. Um, some of them focused on specific aspects of the game. Some of them were designing um, the Moogle stuff. Some of them designed uh, a specific jobs armor.
And for anyone who isn't aware of Final Fantasy XIV, it is an MMO RPG. I probably should have said this earlier, but it is an MMO RPG that is has been around for over 10 years now. I've been playing it for four years. And in its most recent expansions, the last two expansions, it has been highly, highly praised for its storytelling. Not just in the main scenario, but all well, a lot with the main scenario, but also with some of the side quests and things like that as well. And it goes over some of the storytelling in this, but it is mainly about the the concept art itself. There's a lot, a lot of art in these books. And we have everything from more finished... Pe Oops, sorry. That's the problem with really large books in a tiny desk space. <laughs> so we have some more finished pieces in here and these will be for things like promotional artwork, posters which can be obtained in the game through events and things like that. Sometimes it can be for loading screens. And in these ones there's just the style is gorgeous, the colours are beautiful, there's so much going on in them. There's so much storytelling going on in them a lot of the time. And I'm going to try and be a bit careful. <laughs> There's art here for the first underwater city. This expansion was the first expansion where they allowed you to go underwater. As far as I'm aware. But you'll also find, alongside the more finished posters and things, you'll find character design. So this is one of the characters. And... There is equipment design for the equipment that players can obtain in the game from that expansion. So here's some equipment designs here. I love seeing, knowing what these look like in game now, I love seeing the sort of behind the scenes like this for how it was designed. I think the only thing that would have been really, really nice for them to add to this book is the designs that didn't pass. I would love to see some more of the sort of really rough stage ideation um, and iterative ideas. That would be lovely, Square, <laughs> if you are somehow watching this. I'd love to see that in future art books. And we also have everything from furniture design, because there's player housing in the game, so the players can buy houses if they are very very lucky and um, you can decorate the houses with furniture that you obtain in the game so there's even designs for all of the furniture there's designs for all of the mounts and minions see here there's a lot more breaking it down because all of these will have to end up becoming 3d models so it's interesting seeing how they've broken down certain models, especially for things like the mounts. And another really nice thing in here is that when the expansion launches, they do several days counting down the launch of the expansion with different pieces of art from different artists. And all of them are done by different artists. So you get a plethora of different styles, all within the world of Final Fantasy XIV. Featuring the different classes in the game, the different jobs. So we have Red Mage there, Samurai. Red Mage and Samurai were the classes introduced with this, well the jobs introduced with this expansion. 
I don't know if we have Scholar anywhere in here. I'm main healer. And specifically, Scholar. But I play... No, there's no Scholar with this one. <laughs> but I, um, I play all of the healers. Out of the region healers, I mainly play White Mage, which is... There is a countdown of the White Mage. If I can find it again. Yep, yeah, there it is. The that's white mage. So now that I've shown you small sections, there's also loads I haven't covered in here, like the environment design, dungeon design. I will show you some of the well, two of the sketches I've done from these to gain an understanding of design. So I did studies of a shield and that's a white mage cane. And I did these in mechanical pencil. And as you can see here I said I really enjoy drawing these and I really like how they came out too. And these are both from the Stormblood. I believe that's a Soyu Paladin Shield, and I can't remember what White Mage cane that is off the top of my head, but it's just the top of the cane, I didn't do the rest of the cane. And obviously whenever you do studies, studies are incredibly important with art to improve, to figure out your style, and... It's always important whenever you do studies to say that it is a study. So I always write that it's a study somewhere on the page. And I generally don't post them. Like on Instagram or TikTok or anything like that. And before I wrap up the video... I'm going to show some of the environment and dungeon design from this book. Since I didn't in the other book, I will try and find some of the... Here's some. Try and be as spoiler-free as possible. So here's a bit more of like the rough environment design in here. Some of the statues some of the walls that will all end up being in the game. Okay, some more. So these are for dungeons. So we even have buildings that will be in the dungeon itself. So most of these will be ended up becoming 3D models. And then let's see if we have any art for environments. Try and find some. Do, 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 do. There's more dungeons. Here we are, locations. So here's the starting city of the expansion, the Crestarium. So we have lots of different concept art here in different styles. And this became an environment in the game that you can run around now. And with art, I am massively into storytelling. I, I won't put this one down because it'll glare on your faces. I'll put one of these ones down. There we go. You can have Xenos staring at you. So, have a sip of tea. 
there's a sort of brief overview of the kind of contents in these books and also how I study from them. Why do I study from them? Well, I want to do it in order to figure out my style and my interests. Sometimes it's just because I want to draw my interests. It's perfectly fine to do studies because it interests you. Again, as long as you are morally, what's the word? Morally aware of what you're doing, write that, that it's a study, don't share it around um, unless you have permission and so on and so forth. I think it's fine in this video just showing you for educational purposes <laughs> and just looking at them inspires me from a storytelling standpoint, a character design standpoint because I'm into characters, I'm into creatures. I do also love environments that tell a story and just these books have all of that and more. They have prop design, everything that inspires me from my creative voice and what I want to do with my art one day. And yeah, I hope that you found this video interesting. Let me know in the comments if you have any art books that inspire you. If you have some of these, let me know what you think of them as well. If you have any of the ones that I don't have as well, let me know what you think of them. And yeah, I hope that you have a good week. Next week is going to be Inktober 2022. And I will be releasing a video every week going over how my experience is so far and showing you the process of one drawing probably in each video. So stay tuned for those and I will see you around. Bye!